Where do you get your ideas? That's probably the most common question authors get, and also one of the most difficult to answer without being snarky. At the idea store, what about you? The truth is, ideas are everywhere, in films, locations, news, nightmares, even photos. The origin for my first novel, An Eye for Murder, came from a 1930s black and white photo of a delicatessen in Lawndale, which at the time was a thriving Jewish community. My ideas don't come fully formed. They come in pieces. I get a wisp of an idea and I try to stretch it as far as I can go. I get another wisp and do the same thing. So those pieces are there, but often they have nothing to do with each other. The challenge then becomes how to link them realistically and credibly so that readers won't throw my book across the room. Double Back, my sixth novel, was one of those challenges. I did have a first chapter. One of my primal fears, aside from death and bugs and insects of all sorts, is being trapped in a falling elevator. It takes an enormous leap of faith for me to go to the top of the Hancock or the Sears Tower and a lot of Xanax. So I imagine six people trapped in an elevator which suddenly lurches to a stop. The lights go out, it starts swaying, the people panic, they think they're going to die. Then all of a sudden, the elevator resumes operating perfectly normally and descends to the lobby without further incident. To add a little punch to the scene, when the last man gets off the elevator, he looks at his watch and he says, right on schedule. Unfortunately, I still had to write the rest of the novel. When I began Doubleback, Blackwater was all over the news. Its officers were claiming that its personnel were not really military personnel, so they shouldn't be accountable or held accountable to military law. At the same time, though, they said their employees weren't really civilians, so they shouldn't be subject to civilian law. It was a perfect catch-22 to me, and it infuriated me, so I decided to write about it. I kept digging, and I found that some security contractors are on loan to U.S. law enforcement departments to help in the fight against narco-terrorism, particularly on the U.S.-Mexican border. That would work. Now the only thing I had to do was find a connection between the elevator scene and the security contractors. I did even more research, took several field trips to banks, and talked repeatedly with one very patient bank officer, but I finally found the connection. I think it's suspenseful. I also think it's authentic, but I'll leave that decision to you, and I'll keep my fingers crossed that you don't throw the book against the wall.